everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new rotary tool. I had a company reach out called Depstech. Deps Tech? Deps Tech? I might be saying it wrong. <laughs> but they wanted me to check out their rotary tool. Now this looks like it's going to be a 1 8 shaft, smaller sort of tool. Um, comparable to a lot of other small handheld carving tools a lot of you might be using right now. And, uh, well, anyway, they reached out. They said, hey, would you be interested in this? I said, absolutely. Send me send me out one and uh, we'll take a look at it. So here it is, guys. It's in this box. I, you know what? I've been busy working on orders, doing some other videos. I didn't even take it out of the box yet. So we're going to unpack this thing together. And uh, as long as it's powered up and charged, we're going to do a little bit of carving on this block of wood. So don't go anywhere because we're going to get into it. Like I said, Depths Tech reached out to me. Asked if I would review one of their rotary tools. Uh, pretty excited about it, to be honest. This is something you guys can get right off Amazon. They got a selection of, uh, I think they got a few different um, options for this tool, actually. I was looking it up a little bit. They got some other neat things that they make as well. I will have a link to this tool um, to Amazon down in my description. So if you decided something you want to check out, you know, be sure to follow that link. If you guys make a purchase, it helps support the channel. And I greatly appreciate it. Now, here it is. Dep, Deps Tech. D-E-P-S-T-E-C-H. All right, I'm probably saying it wrong. Right here. Okay. <laughs> it's always tough trying to pronounce things sometimes. You know, it's just... Uh, anyway. Let's see, what's the box say? Cordless rotary tool. Um, bunch of words I can't pronounce. Model DC08. Call it size 3.2 millimeter max. Uh, t -t 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 DC 8 volts. Uh, goes up to 30,000, 5,000 to 30,000 RPMs. Cool beans, cool beans. Look at that. That's a nice little, ooh, nice little case right there, huh? That's pretty sweet. I like that. Little, uh, little manual right here. Everything's packed in here, pretty nice. Look at that. Look, would you just look at that? All right, let's see here. Does this thing turn on? Ooh! Woohoo! All right, so I've got two light bars, so I think we'll be able to do a little bit of carbon. It goes up to four. This is a uh, this is pretty nifty, uh, pretty nifty little tool here. Cool, cool. Let's see here. We got a charging cord. Took, looks like it takes that USB-C cord, plugs right into the bottom, but you do need to have your own USB jack to plug it into the wall. So that's that. Uh, it's got a little angle grind. So if you're going to use it like a grinder, you get this little shield. Get this little piece you can use as a cutout, or sometimes I use this on uh, another brand that I have as a router tool. I'll put it in here like that, and I'll kind of use it like a router tool. I got to do some really fine work on uh, custom signs, but anyway, let's see, let's see. How about I bring you guys in? You guys can uh, check out this little goodie box here with me. All right, all right, right there, top view. Got some nice little sanding discs in here. Got some cutoff wheels. So far, this is shaping up to be a pretty nice little kit. Got, got some other little cut off stones. I'll give you a wrench. Got some extra collets in here if need be. See those? What do we have in here for tools? So we got some grinding stones. Nice. Nice. Okay. What's in here? There's some other stuff in here too. Just flap wheels, uh, grinding stones. Nice little drum sander. Set that aside. Maybe we'll do something with that here in a minute. One of your buzz out bits, right? I want to just dump this in my hand, but I know if I dump this into my hand, it's not going to be good. It'll be a mess. And then I'll be mad. Let me pull these little bits out of here. So you get a whole bunch of little bits in here. You get a bunch of different sanding. Little sanding, uh deals as well for the drum sander pop that bad boy on cool cool take this pop it in here 
So in a minute, we're gonna try to do something with this. I don't know what, I'm trying to think. That's why I'm stalling, okay guys, I'm stalling. I'm like, man, what do I wanna do? Ooh, we got a little bit. Maybe we'll do some carving with this little bit that comes with it. Now guys, um, I'm just kinda trying to showcase this tool right now on its own and what comes with it, okay? Right now, it looks like a great little kit. All right, you got this nice little box to store it in. We're not sure like how much power you really get out of it, but I will say this. I love already that this goes down to a nice low 5,000 RPM speed. For me, that's pretty sweet because I do some small power carving for fish and I attach those to the furniture that I build. And it's nice to be able to... Uh, have a constant slow speed when it comes into like fine sanding and buffing and then buffing the finish into the carving. This would be really, really awesome for that kind of stuff. Now, as far as carving goes, I'm gonna use the bits that they've provided that come in the kit, but I think this is going to uh, really show itself in some upcoming videos when I do some bigger carvings with the chainsaw and things, and we'll we'll bust this out to do some work as well in uh, cleaning up the face and stuff like that and, and, uh, and the carving I'm gonna do soon. So anyway, I'm rambling. Lots of different bits there. I'm gonna put these guys back. I am going to try and use this little bit that they have and maybe the sander, all right? Now we don't have a ton of juice, about half power. It's, you know, I'd recommend you plug it right in instead of putting it right to work like me. But uh, yeah, you know. We boxed it together. We might as well just jump right into it and use it, right? All right. It says manual. I guess we should look at that quick, right? Yep. It's a manual. Be safe. Wear your glasses. Dust mask. Okay. If you guys need a dust mask. I got links for these two down below. This is this is the star of the show right here. This little fella. This little depths tech cordless rotary tool model dc08 i like it. it's a little compact it's not very heavy it's nice and light all right i like it i like it so far these tools and tools like these and these reviews sometimes they can be tough right sometimes it's like well time will tell how things hold up or how they perform you know so that's why i try to give you guys like a quick once over what's in the box what do you get you know what does it look like so you hold that, right? So you can loosen this up. Pop that bad boy in there. Tighten her down. Grab your little wrenchy wrench. Now I do wood carving, right? I'm chainsaw carving, I'm power carving. That's the stuff that I do. Um, once in a while, I'm customizing something. So like the cutoff wheels and things will come in really handy. Uh, the little buffer pads. It's got these little buffing pads. They'll come in handy for like when I'm buffing finishes into my fish that I carve. Um, I, I personally won't use the stones a whole lot. Um, sometimes just like sharpening different things once in a while, but it is a nice little, little, you know, little kit that they give you here. So let's, uh, let's, I don't know. Let's, let's do something. Let's turn the speed rate up. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Something fun, something quick, right? If you wanted to play around with it, this little bit that comes with it. Boop, boop. You can do that little easy peasy stuff. That's pretty cool. Kind of right with it, right? 
And like I said, guys, I kind of just wanted to show you the tool quick, right? Get you looking at it, get you checking these out online, seeing what they're all about. I really uh gonna get into some real carving with this thing though. And what I think I'm gonna use this for is eyes and detail work in my chainsaw stuff, you know, and I got to get into the faces of animals and uh, clean them up and things, whether it's in the uh, carving tent or at the carving yard. The nice thing is, is it's battery powered and I'll be able to take this right to the site, do some work and uh, not have to, you know, run cords and things. So that'll be pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's hit that little sander here and see how this goes. <laughs> So I recommend that being down to about 20. When you're up to 30, that's a little quick. Let's see what we can do here with, with this. I'm kind of just messing around, guys. I'm curious to see how long a uh, half a charge will last. I wonder if we'll even be able to kill it, to be honest. You know what? I know what we all want to see. We all want to see some really aggressive bits in this, don't we? Raise your hands. Okay. Stand by. I decided to put a really extra coarse burr in here. Um, if you want to know the brand, just comment below and ask, and I'll let you guys know, because this video is not so much about the burr as it is the tool, okay? So I'm not showcasing the burr so much, but what the tool can do. And I know a lot of you can be like, so what is it? What brand is the burr? Just comment, guys, and I'll let you know, all right? But like I said, there will be a link to this, an Amazon link down below, if you guys want to purchase this or one of the other models that they have. Let's uh, let's get in here. Let's see if we can... So this is like a flat block, and uh, with half a battery, I wonder if we can do, do something crazy, wild, and fun, right? Who knows? Let's... Uh, I don't even... I don't even know. What am I going to do with this? It's just a flat block of wood. This is crazy. I have no ideas. All right, let's run it. I started that, now I think I know what I want to do up here. Whew, this bit's really aggressive. I should have went with something else. So while this is pine, I mean, we're digging in here pretty good, and this isn't really dying down. It is keeping the power, so that is pretty cool. It's really doing its best to keep those RPMs up, which is nice, right? If you guys are carving with this. Need one of those dust tables, that's what I need. Get this back in my strong hand. <laughs> Let's go a little faster. Boy, that baby works good. That's a nice little tool.
carving away. It's not too hot. I got to put my dust mask on though, guys. Whew, it's getting dusty. All right, turn it back on. Oop. We are at... Uh, there's no way to check power without just turning it on. But that's okay, I guess, right? Still at two bars. I'm just gouging away at this. I'll say it's keeping it's keeping the RPMs up and it's not bogging down really. It's actually I'm, I'm pretty impressed. It's doing a pretty darn good job here, guys. Kind of a little fish shape just gouging away i'm just really kind of horking on it here guys trying to work this thing out a little bit all right guys so i just scrounged up this small little piece and my little mini vice right here I'm thinking maybe we'd see what the heck we could do right i am going to swap my burr out for another one same style just less aggressive We're just gonna monkey around with this a few more minutes. Now this feels like this might be poplar instead of pine. So it's a little more dense than pine.
All right, guys, so I took a couple of these little sanding discs and one of the mandrels that they give you, because they actually give you a couple mandrels. Um, this is what the sanding discs look like, though. I just figured we'd hit this real quick, clean it up if we can, turn our speed down a little. Clean that up. Let's clean this up. Touch. There you go. Boosted that one. That's all right. Up here, see, see, see a little bit of rice left in it. I was getting a little too aggressive. Not really meant for what I was just doing. But getting it done. All right. Do that part. <laughs> well, we did all that, you guys. And look, look at our battery. Turn it back down. We're down to two bars. So we started with. All right, guys. So all in all, I think this is a pretty cool little tool um yeah i mean i know we only did a little bit of carving right but it's kind of tough to do so many projects in a video without it getting too long um i'm i'm pretty excited to use it in uh in a carving i'm gonna do a bear carving and use this i think to clean up around the eyes and the nose and uh i'm excited to do that so i will mention it in one of those videos, I've got two videos coming up for this weekend. It will not be in, but it'll be in a following one. Okay, so it might be during the week next week or the following weekend carving another bear. And uh, we'll use this in the little detail stuff around the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. So keep an eye out for that. I think it is a great little tool. If you guys want to check it out, again, Depths Tech. I'll have a link in the description to Amazon where you guys could purchase this one. And they have a couple others. You can check them out, you know, see what they're all about. But I think it it's, uh, seems like a pretty good tool. Again, we'll have to uh, really work it out and uh, time will tell. If you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe, hit that bell, and hit all. Make sure YouTube notifications are on so you guys don't miss those future uploads. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Check out some videos popping up. I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you later.